Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Speaking of the lithography machine, you may feel a little unfamiliar, but if we talk about the chips in the mobile phones and computers we use, then we are familiar with it. This lithography machine is the key equipment for making chips, especially the high-end chips, which can't be separated from it. Today, let's talk about why the lithography machine giant ASML has to sing a different tune from the United States and Europe and has to work closely with the Chinese market. First of all, we have to talk about the importance of the lithography machine. In the chip manufacturing process, the lithography machine is like a super-fine engraver, which can carve billions of transistors on a chip as small as a fingernail. This job is not something that ordinary machines can do, and it depends on high-precision equipment such as lithography machines. Therefore, the technical level and performance of the lithography machine directly determine the advanced degree of chip technology. Now, in the global lithography machine market, ASML in the Netherlands is one of the top giants. Its lithography machine technology is advanced and its performance is excellent, and major chip manufacturers are scrambling for it. However, ASML has been a bit rebellious recently, and it has sung a different tune from the United States and Europe. As we all know, the United States has been imposing chip restrictions on us, trying to curb our technological development. Not only do they restrict themselves, but they also drag their allies along. ASML in the Netherlands has become their focus. The United States puts pressure on the Dutch government to let ASML restrict the export of our lithography machines. However, ASML is not very willing to accept it. They know very well that restricting the export of lithography machines is a matter of harming others and not benefiting themselves. Why do you say that? Because the Chinese market is an important source of revenue for ASML. In the past two years, the overall global chip situation has declined, and even TSMC, the largest customer, has postponed the delivery of lithography machines. However, the Chinese market, because of the chip restrictions initiated by the United States, has set off a climax in chip construction, and the demand for lithography machines has continued to grow. In the first and second quarters of this year, ASML's revenue from the mainland accounted for 49%, making it the world's largest shipping place. Can ASML not value the Chinese market? Therefore, they do not approve of the expansion of chip restrictions by the United States and Europe. This is not only for money, but also for long-term development. After all, the lithography market is a technology-driven market. Whoever has advanced technology will dominate the market. Let's talk about the United States and Europe. They saw that we were developing so fast in the chip field, and they were anxious. So, they began to introduce various policies and provide subsidies to improve local chip manufacturing capabilities. Especially the United States which also invited TSMC, Samsung and other large companies to build factories in the United States. This seems to be a good plan, but in fact, there are many problems. First of all, this subsidy is only a short-term promotion policy and cannot solve the problem of chip manufacturing costs and flexibility. The labor and operation costs in the United States and Europe are too high, which is a realistic problem. Subsidies can only temporarily dilute costs. In the long run, it is not feasible to produce chips at a higher cost. Besides, even if the subsidies in the United States and Europe can promote the development of local semiconductor manufacturing industries, the growth rate of chip production capacity in Europe and the United States will gradually slow down in the future. Because the focus of chip manufacturing has long been shifted to Asia, especially our mainland and Taiwan. The industrial chain here is complete, the technology is mature, and the cost is relatively low. Therefore, it is really difficult to transfer the chip manufacturing center back to the United States and Europe. ASML's new president, Fu Kai, sees it very clearly. 
In an interview with Nikkei Asia, he pointed out directly that even if Western countries increase chip production capacity, it is unlikely to break the balance of power in the global semiconductor industry today. He also said that if the United States and Europe want to impose further restrictions on mainland semiconductors and slow down our development, they must have alternatives and be able to provide production capacity themselves. Otherwise, if they cannot meet the demand, won't they have to turn to us for help? Fu Kai understands, this global semiconductor industry is already a closely connected whole. You restrict me, I restrict you, and in the end everyone will suffer. Therefore, we still have to cooperate and win-win to jointly promote the development of this industry. Let's talk about our own situation. In the past two years, we have made considerable progress in the field of chips. In particular, in terms of domestic lithography machines, we have made important breakthroughs. In the major equipment promotion catalogue recently announced by the Ministry of Industry and Information Technology, two domestic lithography machines are listed. The resolution of one of them is less than or equal to 65 nanometers, which is a lot better than the previous highest 90 nanometers. This shows that we have begun to accelerate breakthroughs in lithography technology. Although there is still a certain gap with ASML, we are working hard. ASML also saw this and was anxious. They knew that if they didn't hurry up to ship to the Chinese market now, they might not have a chance in the future. Because once our domestic lithography technology matures, we don't need to rely on them anymore. At that time, they will lose us as a big customer. Therefore, ASML is now trying every means to continue to develop the mainland market. Speaking of which, the cooperation between ASML and the Chinese market has a deep historical origin. As early as many years ago, we began to conduct technical exchanges and cooperation with ASML. Over the years, our cooperation with ASML has become closer and closer. They not only provide us with lithography equipment and technical support, but also work with us to jointly develop new technologies. This cooperation model is beneficial to both of us. We can get advanced technology and equipment support to improve our chip manufacturing capabilities, and ASML can also better understand our needs and market trends through cooperation with us, so as to adjust its product and service strategies. Therefore, the cooperation between ASML and the Chinese market is a win-win situation. Now ASML has also understood this point, so they are not afraid of restrictions and suppression from the United States and Europe. They know that only by working closely with us can we jointly promote the development of this industry and gain a foothold in this market. Finally, let's talk about the future development trend of the lithography machine. With the continuous advancement of technology, the lithography machine is becoming more and more advanced. The future lithography machine will be more intelligent, automated and efficient. At that time, we will be able to manufacture more advanced chips in a shorter time and at a lower cost. This is a great thing for people. Because it means that the performance of our mobile phones, computers and other electronic products will get better and better and the price will become more and more affordable. At that time, we will be able to better enjoy the convenience and fun brought by technology. So we have to thank these companies like ASML for constantly promoting the development and progress of technology to make our lives better and more convenient. At the same time, we must also support the development of our own domestic lithography machines so that they can better compete with international giants and win glory for China.